A ball is projected with initial velocity of 40 meters per second at an angle 27 degrees from the top of a building that is 60 meters high. Find the total time the ball is in the air and also the maximum horizontal distance covered. Let's first of all make a sketch. If this is y-axis and this is x-axis and let's say from on top of a building, this is where the building is. From here to the, from the floor to this building is 60 meters high. So, and it was projected means it covered vertical distance and also covered horizontal distance. The thing now is that it did not land at the same level from which it was projected. It came to the ground. So let's say this is X axis. It came to the ground. So it means there is a height here, H, and there is also a height here, let's say small H. So, and it was moving with initial velocity U, and they told us it is 40 meters per second. Now, what we need to know is that H, is given as u squared sine theta sine squared theta over 2g so for us to get the height it means our u is 40 squared which is 1600 times sine 27 is 27 degrees sine 27 which is 0 0.21 over 2 times 10, 20. Our G is 10. 2 times 10 is 20. So that what we have is that our H is 336 over 20. And if we divide that, we have 16.8 meters. So what this thing means is that the total height is now this 16.8 plus 60. So we have that the total vertical height is h plus h equal to 16.8 meters plus 60 meters. And if we combine that, we're going to have about 76.8 meters. So having gotten this, now what of the time it will take? Let's say this place is a point A. If we call this place point A, we need to calculate the time it will take to get to this point. And the time it will take to get to that point A is given as T equal to U sine theta over G, which is equal to U is 40 times sine 27, which is, uh, which is uh, 0 0.0. 602 the difference between this and this is that this is sine 27 times another sine 27 while this is just only sine 27 sine 27 times another sine 27 is what give us 0 0.21 so here now is just sine 27 so divide by 10 and we'll get that t is equal to 2.41 seconds now this is the time it took to get to this point but what we want to calculate is the time it took to get to this point which is on the ground so we are going to use the formula that says that h which is the distance that it is going to cover which is height the distance is height so if we say that H is equal to UT plus 1 over 2G T squared. Now, remember that when this ball gets to the ground, it means it doesn't have any velocity again. And then our U is 0. If our U is 0, then we have that our H, total height, I don't know, let's use total height h total i know it may not be just to differentiate it h does this total height which is 76.8 meters is equal to here is zero zero times anything is zero so here is already out of the question so we now have one over two times ten 
then t squared we have that if 2 cross multiply you have 2 times 7 6.8 is equal to 10 t squared. 2 times 76.8 gives us 153.6 equal to 10 t squared. So that we we'll have that t squared only becomes 15 3.6 over 10. So dividing by 10 is one decimal place. We'll have 15.36. So our t alone becomes square root of 15.36, which is equal to uh, about 3.92 seconds. So, so what this thing means is that the total time this ball spent in the air is this time plus the initial time that we calculated therefore the total time the ball spent on the air is uh, we got it to be 3.92 seconds plus 2.41 seconds so 2.41 plus 3.92 and if we add up that together we're going to have 6.33 seconds the second thing they want us to calculate is the horizontal distance horizontal distance is called range and range r let's use r to denote range range is given as u times t u if we use x to show that it is uh, actually on x axis so u x that's the u x cos theta so which is equal to 40 times the total time is spent which is 6.33 seconds times cos 27 which is this times this gives us 253.2 times cos 27 is 0 0.799 if we multiply that out we'll have 202.31 meters that's the horizontal distance